guys, welcome back. Today we're going to explore an abandoned building. Duh. <laughs> I bet that we're going to explore an abandoned mansion. Uh, now I don't know much about this place, so without further ado, let's explore. So this is the main building. And just a beautiful property. First, I'm going to head into the guest house over here. So we have a kitchen whenever you first walk in. Over here we have living room slash dining area. Want to chip and paint. And then I'm thinking this was a bedroom. Then again, who knows? I definitely don't. Let me have the bathroom. Definitely seen better days. So this down here is the basement. Spooky, scary basement. The ghosties are gonna jump out at me. <laughs> Maybe. Back up into the kitchen. And uh, I'm gonna head out here and see what else I can find in the other house. So I found these TVs on my way, and all I can think is, I really wish I had enough money to afford all of those. You know, I absolutely love how something can look so pretty but so creepy at the same time. So here we have the inside. A living room area over here. A cute little book. I love books. In a heckin pool. These people at one point in their lives had an indoor pool. That's goals. Definitely seen better days though. Really like that graffiti. Those angel babies are not amused. And this looks like the dining area. Okay, but that is 100% ghost barf. Or probably mold, but more fun to think it's ghost barf. I'm really curious as to why these people left all of this stuff here. I mean, I guess they can afford more, but still. Oh, it's a little panda. So this is the kitchen. And again, they left so much stuff. I mean, dishes and everything. Seashells. This was a cool find. I really like seashells. 
So here we have the garage. And they had two fridges. Cool old style telephone there. And a bottle of wine. No garage is complete without it. Looks like they have a laundry room here. Clothes still on top of the washer. Really makes you wonder, do they just have to leave in a hurry for some reason? That's just a closet. And just a adjoining bathroom. So now I'm heading back through the kitchen to an adjoining room. Man, cookbook still on the shelves. Piles of paper and mail. Through the windows there is the uh, pool room. Wish I had a pool room. I think it is safe to say that these people like to party. So many wine corks. <laughs> Don't mind as I awkwardly reach for the handle because I'm trying to look through the camera as I film. Just a blue bedroom. So this is the adjoining bathroom. Everything still left on the countertops. Even Listerine. That's odd. And now we ascend. I don't know why I'm getting this long shot, but I am. Man, this place got trashed. And yet another TV. I'm sorry, can I have enough money to afford like seven TVs, please? Small more VHS tapes. Now this looks like a workroom. <laughs> that closet is where they hide the bodies. Oh, that is cool. Just a better view of the map on the wall. That is a gorgeous little couch. So this must have been a kid's room. I love the colors in this glass. There's a bunch of it on the table. And Terry Bradshaw, Ghost Stealers. 
A new young cassette tape. Some gross socks. And a tiger. And out we go to explore another day. Later, Bando. And we're back. So that one was so much fun. Um, they left so much behind, which is an explore that's very fun because you really never know what you're going to come across. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like, you can always subscribe. But honestly, I'm just so excited that people watch it all. So thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!